Welcome to the farm. Welcome back to the farm. I'm Justin, and in this video, we are going to be back on the rock bucket. Uh, I know for you, this was a different video, but for me, it's the same day. In the last video, I ended up having to take my rock bucket that I had done, or the part that I had done, apart, because it just wasn't lining up right, and just I, did, I didn't like it, and I wasn't happy with it, so I, I needed to just start over. So we're going to pick up where I left off with that. I got all the steel ground down, cleaned up, taken apart, and ready to go back together. So we're going to get going on that. So what I did last time is I tried to just use my spacers in between and just pound the, the slats up to that and hopefully my space was all working out on the top and the bottom. And that was a disaster. Don't do that. <laughs> Trust me. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to take my spacers, measure them, and I'm going to mark out lines in the top and the bottom, or sorry, the top and the bottom so I know exactly where all the spacing is so I can tack the top and the bottom in and then put my spacers in, get those somewhat straight in there and hopefully make everything look a lot better because I was really not happy last time. My three inch mark there. Three inch mark there. Just put a spacer in here just to keep that where I want it. Okay. Well, I think that worked a lot better. I'm gonna keep doing it that way. Dana also suggested that I do one on this side, one on that side, and keep working back and forth, working my way into the middle. And then if my gap is different, it ends up in the middle. So I think I'm gonna try that too, and just keep working back and forth. And hopefully this will work a lot better. Um, a lot more time consuming, but as long as it ends up with the result that I'll be happy with, then I think it's well worth it. So I'm just going to set you guys up and let's get going. Today it's just not not going well for me. So this end one that I had originally welded in on is uh, a little a little bit open compared to the rest of them, so I'm kind of fighting it. So I think I'm gonna have to take this one off, weld another one in, because this, just, if you can see, this just won't fit. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to try to do. Take it more apart. Awesome. Well, I think I've had enough for today. It's just, just been fighting me, so I'm going to call this quits for today, and I will come back out another day and pick this video up then. All right, so another day turned into three or four weeks. The leather got nice, and we started getting animals and all that kind of stuff, so that kind of took all my time, and I haven't been able to get back on this rock bucket. But today... I'm devoting most of the day today to work on this. Hopefully we can get pretty far. Um, I know I left off. We were going to have to take this one out. 
the slat out here and compare all the slats and make sure they're all the same size because I did not make a jig and hold them all equal when I first made them, which I probably should have done. Um, yeah, paying for it now, I'm going to have to cut some of these open and re-weld them together to try to get them all at the same angle. So we'll, we'll start by probably just going to clean off this workbench a little bit so it's easier for me to work. And then we'll size out all the slats, get that one off, and see if we can't get them all to the same dimension. So from what I can tell, this side and that side are actually pretty close. And what I did is I took a piece, a slat, and kind of matched it up with this side. This one's fairly close, good enough where I can make it fit together. So I know this one and this side kind of match. And I came over here, compared it to this one, which this one's, this one's almost right out on this side. So I think this slat and this slat are good enough. This slat obviously is. So then I took this one, put it up here, lined up the bottom. So I'm a, I'm a good half inch here on the top. So I'm gonna have to probably cut this across my seam here, cut my gusset, open this up a little bit and weld back in, grind it back down. I'm gonna lose a little bit of my strength with my gusset because now I'm gonna have a weld here all the way across, but I think that's the only way I'm gonna get this to go together. So what I'll do is I'll take this one because I know it's close. I'll use this as my guide. I'll measure out all the other slats, make two piles of ones I need to fix, ones that are good. And then I will go ahead and start cutting and then fixing the ones that are that need it using this as a guide. I went through and sorted them all. These look like all the ones that will work pretty good the way they are. And I have, it looks like seven that I gotta cut open and fix, which I guess isn't the end of the world. Um, shouldn't take too long to do. So I think the best way to do this is I'm just gonna mark a line across, take my big seven inch grinder, and I'm just gonna use that to cut it. I'm also gonna label each of these pieces on the top, so that way I can put, I'm gonna cut them all, and then I can put the same two pieces back together. So this will be one, one. Another plan is to take this one that I know fits and use it as a guide and I will just end up clamping this down with my two pieces right on top lining up all my my edges That's the first one fixed. Let's see how it looks. I think that's going to look really good. Those are stacked on top of each other and you can't even see the bottom one hardly. So I think that'll work great. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fix up the rest of these, weld them up, get them all ground down, do the flapper wheel on them again, get them looking all pretty. And I'll be back and hopefully we'll start putting this bucket together. Okay, so after all that work, these seven are fixed. And we're back to where I was three or four weeks ago. So I got the bucket back up on the, the welding table, if you want to call it that. And uh, I'm ready to start putting slats in. Hopefully it goes as quick as it did last time, but actually correctly.
I don't believe it. Look behind me. It's all tacked together. I... It's been a long road to get here, but we're here and I am really excited. So that'll be it for this video. The next one, I'll work on welding this all in solid. And then we got to get the plate on, the quick attach plate for the tractor, get that welded on and clean up and paint. And I think it'll be ready to go. So if you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It will really help our channel grow, reach more people. And we're really excited about doing that too. So thank you for those who already have. And thank you for the ones who will. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.